Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Fish Tank Guy and as you can see I have my cheap but quality RODI unit in front of me here and I am doing a follow-up video to the first video I posted about this unit telling you that it was a really good bargain and if you were looking for a less expensive RODI unit and you didn't have to make mass quantities of water this would be the way to go so this is a follow-up video to that because I received some questions about how well the unit actually works so what I'm gonna do in this video is a short type of experiment where I'm going to fill this bowl up with tap water and then using my TDS meter I'm going to measure the level uh, I mean the, the, I'm going to measure the TDS level of the tap water and then I'm going to empty the bowl out and make sure I use a paper towel to clean the bowl out completely and I'm going to hook the RODI unit up to the tap run RODI water into the bowl and use the TDS meter again so for those of you who are not used to this stuff or don't know very much about it TDS stands for total dissolved solids by the way this meter is about 15 bucks on Amazon great deal uh, total dissolved solids so what it measures what it actually measures um, is basically the amount of salt and minerals and metals that are in your water so for a saltwater aquarium obviously less is better so we want whatever comes out of the tap water to go through the RODI unit and come out as having a TDS level of zero or very close to zero so I'm gonna try to use one hand here if my video skills are not great it's because of alright there we go now usually I would cut the video and not make you guys watch this stupid stuff but I figured I didn't want you to think that I rigged the experiment in any way okay Let's turn it on can't see what I'm doing can't see there we go I'll leave it like this man it's hard to read so we're climbing we're at 123 starting to slow down 125 126 well man, never mind it's still going Oh, went back down from 130 to 129. Okay, so you get the idea. We're right around 130. Okay, so 130 is the TDS level uh, of the tap water. And now I am going to do a cut. It's actually still going up. Okay. Now I am going to do a cut so I can hook the RODI unit up to the, up to the tap here. And then I will be right back and will conclude the experiment okay so we're back I've got it hooked up there to the tap it's, as you can see it's going to that unit and then back into the bowl here I let it start running because it actually takes a little while for the RO uh, for the distilled water to come out of the unit here and it's kind of a slow process to be honest with you but now let's let's give it a check and it's not quite filled all the way up to where it tells you to get a good reading but as you can see it is up oh, there it goes it is zero um, they recommend it you know they recommend it being so high up on the tester here to get an accurate reading that's why I was saying a little more water needs to be in the bowl and as you can see still zoom in here it is zero 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 so we went from roughly 130 it was in between I'd say is in between 130 and 140 if I would have left it finish I'm gonna shut this off for now in between 130 and 140 um, 
right from the tap and after sending it through my budget RODI unit it comes out as zero so I don't really think it can get any better than that there are obviously more advanced units you can buy but for someone just looking for um, an RODI unit for a smaller tank or lower quantities this is definitely a good buy um, another thing that I wanted to note that I've actually already created about 65, 60 to 65 gallons with this unit already. So this is not um, a measure straight from getting it brand new. I've actually ran a decent amount of water through the unit already and it is still producing zero TDS in my water which is awesome which is exactly what you want. So if you weren't all that sure about this cheaper budget unit, hopefully this video will put your fears at rest and you can go out and spend a little bit of your money on a nice baller RODI unit for your saltwater tank. All right, I'm the Fish Tank Guy. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And as always, leave your comments and opinions below. Peace. Talk to you later on a future video.